If emotions aren't your thing, welcome to the club. A few weeks ago, a friend forced me to take the Enneagram test, and I felt like I had to. All my friends at college bring up the Enneagram and how accurate it was, so I figured I would give it a shot, and they weren't wrong. It turns out that I'm a 5 wing 4, which basically means that I'm an investigator. And after reading the definition of a 5, I realized it was an exact representation of my personality. Here are 17 signs that you too might be a 5 wing 4, though you should still totally take the test. Number 1. You're a major introvert. Nothing sounds better to me than just sitting in my room after a long day of classes, or even just a short day of nothing. I need time to recharge, and most fires do too. Number 2. Emotions are hard for you to handle. Whether they're your emotions or someone else's, emotions are a foreign territory for most fives. Put me in a room with someone who needs emotional support, and I try really hard to be what they need, but it's difficult. Number 3. You shut your own emotions down. One of my favorite descriptors of an Enneagram 5 is our ability to emotionally detach, and I found that to be incredibly true. Most fives can just shut down their emotions or just ignore them, and while that might not be healthy, sometimes it's really convenient. Number 4. Your space is yours and yours alone. People invading your space is a hard thing for you to deal with. Your space is where you need to recharge and relax, and you can't do that if someone else is in it. Number 5. You're really independent. Fives are their own person. They don't like to believe that they need anyone, and they really don't like to take care of other people. Fives don't like kingly people or people trying to help them with every little thing. Number 6. You like to observe the world. Fives like to hoard information and experiences, and observing everything allows you to do just that. If you have the opportunity to participate, you'd rather just watch, though you will sometimes participate. Number 7. You really want to be accepted. Though fives and five wing fours especially like to emotionally detach, you really strive to be accepted and liked by the people around you, whether you want to admit it or not. Number 8. You tend not to let too many people in. Everything comes back to emotions for a five wing four, and you tend to keep most people at a distance. The people you choose to let into your life are few, but you are incredibly loyal to these people. Don't try to get to close too fast to a five wing four. You might end up with the opposite of your intended result. Number 9. You favor dark colors. This might totally be subjective. But many five wing fours favor dark colors such as black my personal favorites are black and gray dark colors tend to be a giveaway for a five wing four being their preferred color of apparel number 10 you might come across as brash five wing fours are introverts by nature but they still like to talk in group settings however this doesn't always come across in the most polite way Many five wing fours can come across as brash and rude, so be aware of this. Number 11. You're probably an NFJ on the Myers-Briggs. Though I'm not as big of a fan of the Myers-Briggs as I am of the Enneagram, there is a general correlation between the two. Number 12. You love to learn. Knowledge is another one of the things that five wing fours hoard, and this comes across in your drive to learn and to know everything. Number 13. You tend to think objectively. Everything comes back to emotions, and five wing fours tend to leave them out when they're making important decisions. Number 14. You like to be imaginative. Five wing fours might not think with their emotions often but they still love to think out of the box. Famous writers, scientists, and movie directors are all five wing fours. Number 15. You don't like obligations. Your independence is important to you. Obligations are not your favorite thing. Number 16. You see the world as chaotic. The world seems like a crazy chaotic place that oftentimes drives you up a wall. This is where your private sanctuary comes in and your need to be alone. Number 17. 
you tend to have a sense of humor that is self-deprecating. Making fun of yourself is the type of humor that five wing fours are known for. While being a five wing four has its challenges and can almost appear to be a curse rather than a blessing, I know that I wouldn't want to be any other personality type. That's it for this video. Please feel free to share your experiences in the comments below. Thank you for your time and don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to never miss future uploads. And I see you in the next video for a happier, healthier mind.